junk in here. Uh, today's August 20. But I'm dictating about July 9th when I was in the hospital for two days from July 9th to July 11th. Uh, the day before death, on the 8th, I had went checking up out my house as we were in the car. I had some cramp issue on the side, hurt me real bad. Uh, it was real severe. It's hard to relieve cramps while you're inside a car, you know what I mean? As somebody's driving. And uh, I was going to ask him just pull over to see if I could relieve these cramps and I'm in the car moving around, you know. So that day went by. Then within two two or three hours later, I had a chest pain. And I had posted these videos on Facebook. And then the next following day, went out on the porch. And now my left side started getting all cramped up real bad. But this cramp that hit me that day was unbearable and I couldn't hang on to it. And uh, gripping on it, trying to relieve the cramps I came up. And I had told them as I came up, I said, I think I need to go to the hospital. Maybe later on today, I'm going to see what happens after this. Because these cramp issue, I had one yesterday and today, and it's just killing me. And then I came, lay down on the couch. Two girls here. One of them I overheard, she was saying, I think he's trying to tell you call the ambulance, but I wasn't expecting them to call at that time. And she did. So they called, they gave me the phone. I was talking to the EMS, explaining a little bit what's going on. Told her I'm not feeling good. If if they want to come by, you, you go ahead and stop by. They can kind of evaluate me for a bit. They came here. They finally arrived here. And uh, I was laying down not feeling good. Chest hurting. Body aching me. Side, stomach cramp. And so I kind of explained the situation to them a little bit. My mind's all are pained up by the abuse of these cramps and all that. Eyesight still blurry vision. Uh, then they asked me if I wanted to go to the hospital. And I said, since you guys are here, she said, it's my choice if I do or don't. I said, yes, I do. I said, go ahead. I had these, uh, you know, I was gonna end up going there anyway. So since they were here and they called the ambulance, I wasn't expecting it. So I had went. So went on the ambulance and going to Beaumont Hospital to ask me what hospital I said it's Beaumont because that's that's where I've been going for all my emergencies. And uh, you know, at, at that time we reached there, we got to the hospital. I was being seen, and. Uh, they did, you know, like the regular normal test they do, blood tests and all that. Went there for this cramp issue pain and what happened the other day. And it was within an hour I was already at the hospital from that pain. And then they decided to run some tests, x-rays, you know, CAT scan, things like that. Uh, the next morning, I was being admitted. They were waiting for my room and everything. Now, next morning. Now, they did x-rays for the chest area. And then I was on a wheelchair. And they did the x-rays for the chest area. And once I put my arms around the machine, you know, the x-rays like that, they took snapshot of the chest area, but once it was done and I relieved my arm down, back of my shoulder blade inside, 
was pinching in. And I kind of yelled out three or four times, oh, ah. Oh. And she was like, she was telling me, she goes, are you okay? I said, well, I'm getting a, ch ch uh, a shoulder blade back here hurting me a lot. She goes, okay, go sit down on the wheelchair. Once I sit there, at that particular moment when I was there, right after x-rays, I had a severe chest pain again. You know, I gripped it. It's on my left side. I gripped it. And like I was, I was doing one of these movements. Oh, 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 oh my God. It hit me so hard. It hurt it so bad. One, one of the assistants, people there walked by and he looked at me. He said, are you okay? I said, no, not quite. I got, I'm getting this uh, chest pain, but it's, you know, it's a little bit too strong. And I'm gripping and yelling out and breathing like, oh, 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 in there on, on the wheelchair. She goes, okay, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to hurry up and tell her what just uh, happened, this and that. You know, then uh, the chest pain kind of relieved us, so I'm, kind of a little bit now, a little bit more relaxed and I'm sitting on a wheelchair. And this part did not even quite understand too much. Now my mind, when I was getting this chest pain, my mind, my head was like filled it up. You know, like getting blotched up like that. I can't see that good. I'm, I'm, I'm already blurry vision, but when these, the attack hits me, I get worse in my eyesight because too much strain in there and pressure from the cramp as you were the, the, uh, the heart, heart, heart problem. Now we're being admitted, you know, so I grabbed my phone and I tried to explain that on video as I was posting on social. Never got the chance, but I told him, I told him that I was here for my cramp issue at the time, but then this, what happened in the hospital, I had that chest pain during the x-ray. Now, during the day, went, got a CAT scan, you know, doing all kinds of chest exam and all that. And um, on the 10th, well, right at midnight, I wasn't feeling good. I posted some fit, uh, photos of what was happening. And I was getting real sick from the pressure of the pressure of this pain, pressure of my chest, and the pressure I was getting up in my head. So I was getting sick. I felt like I was going to vomit. So I grabbed the bucket and I put it set. Set it on the side within two to three hours. I started vomiting and let it out. All that, all that sickness was uh, coming out. Now this is on the 11th, midnight. You know, the next morning, midnight happened. Not feeling good. I said, I don't feel good. I don't like how I'm feeling. You know, my, you know, I'm all drained out. I'm real weak. And then as I was sitting there, I went, lay down, try to relieve the vomit pressure to also with it. You know, my mind is still spinning out in there, weak. How people get when they're in the hospital, IV and all that stuff. You know, all that heart monitor thing and all that stuff. Now, what happened was in the morning that I was sleeping. I can't quite remember exactly what time. But at the moment when I was waking up, now I'm sleeping. Now, I think my mind was like dead shot out. Like in a coma state, you know. I woke up and I was like, you're, you know, I have, I still have my pants on and my, you know, ha still have my pants on and I still had the, the hospital gown on. 
I said, there's something not right as soon as I woke up. I felt something like wet. So when I checked, believe it or not, if you kind of realize thinking of it, I was dead sleeping, knocked out cold in there. Who knows what that was? But I ended up getting the brunt, diarrhea. But I had it while I was inside my sleep. Now that's not pretty right. I have to talk, I have to say this. But what I didn't quite understand, once I noticed that, I hurry up, got up, got out of my room because that, uh, the private room I had, there wasn't no bathroom or showers. So I had to leave out and to go to the restroom, I had to take off my pants, wash it up, take off my underwear, wash it up. And then as soon as I got back to the room, I called the room service. They didn't answer the first time. It took it took a while for them to, uh, to get through. I kept buzzing it, and then one of them answered, and I told her, I said, I need my bed sheet changed. And I was going to wait until she gets here, and I was going to explain to her that I was sleeping. And I ended up getting sick on this part. But at the same time, there was another nurse that came in, and she says that I was going to be discharged right here, right now. She goes, you don't need your bed sheet changed yet. And I said, okay. I said, hold on a minute. Now, I'm trying to explain something to them. That they didn't give me not too much to say because I can't barely speak up on my pain. Because I went through heck this year, bronchitis, fever, breathing moment, I tripped and fall at a, uh, at a gas station, had my face rolling up, and, and I'm still going through too much. And then she goes, she goes, no, you know, my mind's all puzzled out, I didn't know what to say. I said, I, I try to tell her, you know, hold on for a minute, I'm trying to explain something to her, but she's not, she's not, um, let me get a chance to say anything. You know, so she ended up leaving. She came back again within 10 or 15 minutes. And then I hurry up and I showed her what I, will, what I was recovering from from my foot injury back in December 2008, my foot wound, the torn tissue up there. She asked me what that was. And then I tried to explain that to her. I said, that's my foot area, my toe area. And that's what I came here for in December 28th. And I caught a fever, bronchitis, heart breathing, explaining that a little bit. And trying to explain to her what I was going through all this year. So, and then she goes, well, hold on. They, they were going to get a, a voucher for a taxi and all that. As she left, I still had problems in that area without me feeling it that I was getting the runs again after one hour of that. The runs again, and they're trying to discharge me at the same time while I'm get, getting this sickness. You know, I threw up in the middle of the night. I was sleeping. I had the runs, and then I had the runs again at night. Now, I'm trying to explain to her. I think it's better for her to keep me there for one extra day until that kind of chills out and let my pressure on my pain and the heart problem I got and she said well you they, they, they that's when she was saying she goes well they're saying you're here for chest pain but you really came here for my side issue I said yeah I try to tell her the chest pain happened in here when I was taking a x-ray in the hospital I'm still not feeling good in this part. I didn't quite understand why would they discharge me that quick? You know, they didn't want to change my bed sheet. They took it out, but they didn't put nothing on there. I tried to explain that to the person who was taking all that out, what, what kind of illness I was developing. 
it was like no no talk play, so things happened so quick, and I was getting t discharged. So she tried to get a voucher for a taxi, but then I was so upset. I just, you know, the, the, the frustration or the anger that I had in there, what was going on and not feeling good, I just hurry up and called Mike, and I told him, just hurry up and come over here and pick me up, which I didn't want him to. Just for them not to drive up there, I was going to take the taxi home with the voucher. But my mind was spitting out too much and I can't barely say anything or talk because I went through a pressure point in my head that I couldn't speak under a chronic issue pain that is so severe that nobody still understands that. I try to keep trying to explain this to everybody. I still got headaches. My eyesight's still blurry blinded. I'm not feeling good. I get lightheaded and I still have system problems through my body of weakness because of my recovery. Now, <coughs> excuse me. So then I was discharged, and that part I didn't quite understand that. You know, I, they gave me a survey. I was going to explain that to the survey to, uh, to them and send that out to them. But I, I don't think that was proper for them to do that. But then I just, uh, I might, I uh, might not, I just didn't like how I was treated that day. And they were not right. And then, uh, now this happened at that time. I still got problems. Now today, August 20th, three days ago, my, I got a pain issue right up in here. My face woke up. Right now it's not deep and swollen, but it is swollen up right here, and I got, see that right there, that's a swollen, that's a ball, ouch, that's a ball, just popped out this morning, from a swollen, and that swollen is from this pain up in here, that's, that will swell up this whole face, it bothers my head right here. I already checked my eyeballs yesterday. You know, just gripped it and itched it out. Bam. That cut, that, that swollen ball up in my gums right there wasn't there yet, uh, yesterday because I had checked, but I seen a little tiny cut in there. And for some reason, it just swelled up. I had this problem back in April 2, April 2nd, 2020. And it was caused by a sneezing and coughing. I had a coughing issue that was gripping up on my side right here. Every time I cough, I'm in pain right here. Then I cough in pain, then it triggers something right here, starts shaking, rattling my head. And once that released it, I get chest pain. After a while, that was like dropping a little bit from the chest pain. Then the sneezing and coughing, what caused this problem right here, right, right exactly where I'm pointing at. And it just kind of swollen, you know, put, put it in pain. Then inside gets all swollen up on the inside, trying to, the swelling is trying to get somewhere. And then this morning it popped out through here. And the last time I posted a picture of it, it took my eyeballs and kind of, puffed it up with water. And I did go to the hospital April 2nd for that. And I still got some problem. So they had told me I need either, either or go rush to the hospital. If I cannot be seen by a dentist for them to check things out in, in there within today or tomorrow, but I had a problem with transportation. They they can't just give me the transportation like that. Especially they wanted me to go Saturday and they can't. Because the transportation don't work on the weekends and I have to give them a three days notice in order to get transportation to get to somewhere. Uh, because it's covered by the insurance. And uh, so I have to wait until Tuesday.
So I had a choice. If this bothers and it starts getting worse, either rush to the hospital or just hang on until Tuesday. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I have the system and problem and things just keeps continuing. And I've been suffer, suffering from all these pain issues since uh, four years ago, since 2016. Just a lot of people just don't understand the abuse I'm going through with pain. I'm not feeling good. Even though I speak here on video, that's something I'm bound to, bound to. I'm like trapped inside my body of these pain. I'm trapped inside these pain. And my mind doesn't feel good. And I'm still still on the road of recovery because one thing happened after another it just makes things worse and worse and worse and worse and nothing and nothing resolved people don't understand that and this just what happens sit up here all day doing nothing and I sometimes you get cramped up in the house trying to recover you know like my bronchitis issue I was losing my I was losing my mind already from uh, hard breathing, all that stuff. Well, just to make something short and just to dictate this about July 9th and this part issue. Uh, uh, thank you for listening and viewing. Thank you very much.